Hello again guys, let's format the math we just wrote in our last video. So here we have some equations that we wrote. We wrote a bunch of equations. I'm just going to add some numbers to it so that I can emphasize what it is I'm going to show you here. So what you see here is the symbols for making things equal are not aligned up. Nothing is aligned up here. Everything is just centered. And there may be situations where you don't want it to look like this. You could, for example, in the tech, put together an array. And I'll show you what that looks like. So an equation array. If you're going to begin a, an equation array, you're going to want to end an equation array. And then I'm just going to indent this. Um, when you do an equation array, you do not need the dollar signs anymore. So I'm just going to quickly delete those. And then to separate the equations from each other, you need to do a double slash. So just throwing these in really quick. If I build this now, oh, not on the last one though. You don't need it on the last one. If I build these now, what you'll find is that the equations are now numbered one, two, three, four, five, and everything is right justified. Now, I mentioned that you might want the equal signs to line up, you know, just for aesthetics you can do this if you would like and the way you go about doing that is you add ampersand signs around the symbol that you would like to have centered so in this case I'm going to do the most logical symbols and just surround each one with ampersands if we build that our equations rearrange such that they are right justified on the left they are left justified on the right and all the symbols that usually break up either side of the equation are now centered so to me this looks better it's easier to read um, let's say you don't want these numbers here you can get rid of them if you would like just like with the section uh, headers instead of having like a back my words you would add an asterisk after it well you could do that here as well so if you do that in the begin and the end and you build that boom the numbers for the equations are gone so that's cool um, some other thing I'm going to show you is, let's say you want to reference equations, because if you're writing a textbook or something like that, oftentimes you reference equations in the textbook. How do you go about doing that? I'm just going to blow it up a bit more here. Well, the way you do that is you begin an equation, and you can label it. So I'm going to label this equation, equation Tobias. And I'm going to say my equation. You don't need the uh, dollar symbols here because it understands what you're doing. 7x minus 5 is equal to 0. And then you end the equation. You can also add in another equation if you want. So equation, I'm going to label this one. Equation second. And this one is going to be... that and then I'm going to end that equation. You can then reference an equation if you would like. So I'm going to say the first equation is equation reference equation to bias which you can try and solve. If I build that we have our first equation labeled as one, second equation labeled as two, and then if we build again, we get our references building correctly, and it is hyperlinked just like how we would expect. Um, something else I'm going to show you is these, this referencing of equations, right now we're in the appendix, uh, it is not held for each section. Like if I go up and let's say I go to uh, just under our figure here, and I insert an equation, so I'm going to begin equation, I'm going to say x is equal to 5, and then I'm going to end my equation. If I do that and I build that, then what we'll see is right under our figure, where did it go? x equals 5, here we go. So x equals 5 is equation 1, okay cool, and if we go back down to our appendix, this next equation, the first equation is equation 2. 
uh, now because it keeps track of it in order just like it does sections. So you gotta keep that in mind and that helps you keep track of your equations, reference your equations, display your equations, anything you'd like to do with, in math. Everything else it's easy to find online. And uh, I think this is the last video of my series. Well, why use LaTeX? That one's gonna go first. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has helped you figure out how to put together a simple report, technical report, in LaTeX. I hope you have a good one. Bye.